coming up next for the UFC middleweight championship of the world. Between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Paolo the Eraser Costa. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Three years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Deans. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Paolo the Eraser And now, it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 485 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. UFC middleweight championship is on the line. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Costa gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Oh, that head kick landed. And this is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. So oh, the left leg goes high.
Nice inside leg kick. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Adesanya. Clean jab. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect. Huge punches landed by both men. Just caught him with a punch. Straight right hand now, just misses. Very nice. Oh! He's in big trouble. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Slips the punch. Wow! This could be it! Oh, he might be out. Very nice. Punch his blocks. Oh! It's knee to the body. Blocks that strike. Nice kick by the champ. Just misses with the straight right. And that one certainly found the target. Nice straight left and a right hand behind it. on the bottom getting absolutely plastered. You wonder if he was saved by the bell there, Joe. 10 or 15 more seconds, and his night likely would have been over. Here's a huge kick that stuns. And here's another huge kick to the head that stuns his opponent. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Big round. Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. You're right. You're right. All right, round two. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh, he connects there. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue. Wow. Get your out. He's got him hurt here. each other out and separate good job keeping that head off the center line slips to avoid the right hand 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Seconds now to go on the run. Oh, blocks the shot. Pretty nice leg kick there, Joe. Good work on the feet by Adesanya. Ooh. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Ariane Celeste doing her thing as usual. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Try to establish that jab. Good combination so far from both men. Oh! He is rocked. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. The left hook hits home. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Just misses with the jab there. That one hurt. How about that shot? Oh, oh. This could be it right here. Attempts a big oh. hook to the head, but misses. A front kick to the face. Oh! The left hook hits home. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Israel out of oh! Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in big, big trouble. Knee to the body. We have now hit the final minute. Whoa! Whoa! Gigantic knockout via flying knee.
Yeah, Joe, devastating is one way to describe it as the knee knockout comes here in this round. And that's a big stoppage win for him. He was very accurate and precise with his strikes here tonight. And particularly when it comes to that knee strike, you don't have to put a ton of mustard on it to get the desired result. Check it out here. Bang. And there he is, our UFC middleweight champion of the world. What an outstanding knockout here to finish the job tonight. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. King of the 185 pounders, there he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's gotta feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight.